Hey Sagittarius, happy Friday! This is going to be your full moon lunar eclipse reading, which is happening on the 25th of this month, the first lunar eclipse of 2024. So we're going to see what needs to come out. Make sure you watch your moon sign reading. Additionally, there's going to be similar messages. Also, there's going to be messages that you feel drawn to receive. And then I always encourage the rising and the Venus. Sagittarius, I'm giving away two free personal readings, as most of you know. If you are new to my channel, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. I do monthly giveaways, um, and this month, like I said, is two free personal readings. All you need to do is go ahead and subscribe, and then leave a shamrock emoji in the comment section. At the end of this month, and at the end of each and every month, I randomly choose those people to win the giveaway and reach out to you through YouTube, so I'll remind everybody to pay attention to their notifications, those that participated. All right, let's get into it. Sagittarius, Belladonna Visions, 28, a card of 10, closing out a cycle, um, making yourself the priority. A 10 is reduced to a 1. Caution, guidance, Clarity, staying firm. Staying firm and standing firm. Reminds me of almost like the Seven of Wands and Herbal Craft. As soon as I said Seven of Wands, the Seven popped out. Regeneration, plant medicine, caretaker, bloomer. I do feel like something is going to grow here, prosper here for you. Let's see. A door of opportunity is opening up for you. What do you need to release? See how it's almost two different decks, but it's the same healing energy. Um, the third eye being awakened. It's like the bluish um, amethyst energy. But then if you see the plants, I just feel so much growth within you. What is it that you need to release? That's going to be different for each and every one of you. With the full moons, the new moons, the lunar eclipses, solar eclipses, it's a time of releasing. A time of calling in brand new blessings. And the energy is gaining momentum. It's almost like you're peaking. You see how the birds are peaking the top of the mountain? Something brand new is about to take off for you. Let's see what else we can get from my Sagittarian spirit. There it is. Progress in a personal goal. This could obviously be a job, um, a promotion, maybe a raise. Maybe beginning starting renovations on your home getting approved for a loan for something that you want to do. Progress is positive and personal goals are being reached. I love that. And then look at this. Where you felt broken, where you felt like, you know, you were weak. Um, it's like you're gaining that strength back. You are going through a big transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes enrich your life and become the person you want to be. There's that growth that I was speaking of. It's like you are blooming into the best version of yourself. All right, let's see specifically what is coming towards you. Look, Hierophant and the Page of Swords. Is this all part of communication? All right, let's see. For my Sagittarians. The energy presently for my Sagittarians. Ten of Pentacles. This could even be an influx of money that you're not expecting. Could be an inheritance. Something you're not expecting in terms of wealth and success is happening for you, is being offered to you. What is the energy around the full moon spirit? Full moon lunar eclipse. The four of swords. 
And if you notice, the Ten of Swords wanted to pop out in the worst way and then went back in. There is an ending, and it may be happening to you currently, but what is coming towards you is offering you complete abundance and prosperity, a chance for you to feel established, um, a sense of achievement towards your goals, towards things that you want to grow in your life. Four of Swords becoming even deeper, deeper connected with yourself, your soul, what your soul wants for the future, deeper connection with the universe and with your spirit guides. Seeing synchronicities while you're in that Four of Swords energy from your spirit guides. And then we have the Page of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there is there is an offer coming towards you. Good news coming your way that you're going to make a complete success out of. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. The Sun. Happiest card of the deck. And all I'm drawn to is this magic around this transformation. The chain being connected again. Stronger links. Alright. Let's see what else we got for you. Somebody made a comment about my candle making that noise. Somebody said, turn the stove off. It's really irritating. No, it's not the stove. It's my candle. And I must have ordered the wrong one because it does make that crackling noise. My apologies. And as soon as I get another candle, it will be replaced. The Seven of Swords. The King of Swords. So for some of you, you have strong air in your chart. Um, but it's the energy of making a huge decision, a mind over matter decision. And it may be leaving something that um, you're comfortable with, you know, knowing that there's more for you and it's going to cause you complete abundance. I feel like you're mentally grounded. The star... The Five of Swords. See what I mean? You're in this healing energy where you felt defeated or where you felt like you needed to surrender, where you felt maybe disappointed or you're just not getting the happiness that you thought you would out of a specific situation. It's like you're taking time to regroup, plant those seeds, nourish them, and you're getting wish fulfillment. Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. I've got to say, for some of you, there may be an air sign taking fast action towards you. We have a lot of air here. Air and earth. But there's a reason to celebrate with this lunar eclipse. There is good news coming your way. Possibly a job offer. Or, you know, you're being noticed. But what you're moving towards is feeling success, achievement, um overall all abundance and prosperity empress seven of pentacles ace of cups yeah for some of you there is someone coming towards you i feel like they strongly have air in their chart in terms of a relationship could even be a very strong friendship Ten of Swords. Remember, the Ten of Swords wanted to come out with the Ten of Pentacles. Here it is. Ten, ten. Ten, ten, ten. Closing out of a cycle. Starting something brand new in your life. Two of Wands. Making that plan. Door of Opportunity opening up for you. This door of opportunity, remember, it's going to be different for each and every one of you. So what you're, you're really feeling driven towards with this reading, whether it be career and work, finances, increasing... Um, moving forward, making a large purchase or love and romance. But there's a door of opportunity opening up for you. It's like, it reminds me of another reading I did. I can't remember the exact sign. That's why I always say, watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus along with your sun. Um, where one door clope it, oh, where one door closes and open. Yeah. When one door closes another door opens and that's what I'm getting right here page of cups 
Ten of Cups. You have ten, 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 ten. When it reduces, it's one, 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 one. Increased happiness, stability, emotional happiness. Yeah, there is a path being illuminated. Spirit, why is the Three of Cups here twice? Why is the Three of Cups here twice? The Three of Swords, moving on from heartbreak. Moving on, if somebody made you feel like a third party, a love triangle, emotional pain, you are moving on. You're putting yourself back out there. You're feeling very strong about what you have to offer. And like I said, you are being noticed. There is a reason to celebrate coming towards you. And spirit, why is 10, 10, 10, 10 here? The seven of swords, the five of cups. Yeah, you are closing out a big chapter of emotional distraught. Whether you were ghosted, lied to, you're closing out those chapters of people that have done you wrong. You're looking for more stability in your life in terms of money. You're looking for more stability in your life in terms of relationships, platonic, family, and romantic. And like I said, there's a brand new opportunity coming towards you with complete success. All right. Spirit, what else do you have for my Sagittarius during this full moon, the lunar eclipse? Yeah, see, you're done. You see how the stalemate is in reverse, non-committal, standoffish, you're done with this. If they don't see your worth, you're moving on. Yeah, breaking free. I love that. You're feeling so strong and liberated with this lunar eclipse that you're breaking free from feeling stuck. Being very honest with yourself, closing out big chapters, higher level of commitment coming in. And yes, take inspired action. Start of the season, start of spring for, um, for, oh boy, start of spring, start of fall for some. Taking inspired action, brand new beginnings. I love this. Yep. Finding, finding your way to that light. And like I said, it might have taken some time. And it doesn't matter how much time it takes you. What matters is that you're getting there. Baby steps. One step at a time. A lot of spiritual growth in this. But you're getting there to that brand new beginning. For some of you, it's happening within days. Knight of Swords, quick action. It's like I just feel like one day you wake up and you're feeling so much stronger and ready to take on a brand new chapter, a brand new world. But like I said, for some of you, it is letting go of toxic connections and a higher level of commitment coming towards you. We have T, A, B, right there I see Tab, Tabitha, P, M, D, Z, I, L, A, and the rest are repeats. All right, take what resonates, leave that shamrock emoji down below in the comment section. Um, my Etsy shop is going on vacation mode. Any day now. I'm leaving for vacation next week and I will reopen my Etsy shop where I offer personal readings um, like the second week of April. There is one reading being offered currently. It is the expedited one. So I have it to you before I go on vacation. So if you're interested, you can head over there, check it out, take part in that. All right. So much love and light, guys. Have an amazing weekend.